Hi, I'm Michelle from Unicorn and Centaur, and today's video is a grooming tutorial for my new centaurs. If you're new to the channel, click that subscribe icon to join our herd of extra equestrians. Today's video is a beginner tutorial and is intended as a supplement to lesson one in my centaur lesson program. If you're one of my new centaur students, I made this just for you because y'all always panic about how you're never going to remember anything. Watch this video as many times as you need to before lesson two in order to remind yourself of the reasons we groom, the tools we use, the order of the sequence, and the techniques applied. Remember, one reason that we groom horses is to remove all the excess dirt and sweat and dead hair that are on his coat. Extra dirt and sweat and hair underneath a saddle and a saddle pad can rub tack sores onto a horse. So anywhere that tack touches the horse, you wanna make sure you get all the extra dirt and dead hair and sweat off of their bodies. The second reason we groom is to check for injuries. The joke with horses is that you can wrap them in bubble wrap and stick them in a padded room, come back five minutes later and they'll be bleeding from somewhere. They manage to get themselves injured on just about anything. So, since we can't supervise them 24 hours a day, when we first pull them out of the paddock, the grooming session is a good way to reconnect with the horse. We're looking him over head to toe and we're making sure that there's no injuries that might prevent us from riding or that might need medical attention. Let's talk tools. Curry comb. I use a soft rubber one. There are hard plastic ones, soft rubber ones. There are even metal ones. Stiff brush. This is a brush for the body that has stiff bristles. That's why they call it a stiff brush. <laughs> then there's a soft brush that has soft bristles. <laughs> Mane and tail brush, which is pretty much just a human hair brush. And a hoof pick. I like the ones with the little brush on the end so that you can brush out any excess dirt and yeah thinness. That's your standard grooming kit. There are other things you can buy for a grooming kit. There are special brushes. There are special sponges. There are products like Shoshin that you can spray on their manes and tails. The point is, if you want to spend $100 on a grooming kit, you can, but this is what you need to get ready to ride. Now remember when we groom, we go left to right, front to back. Step one is the curry comb. And we use this to make circles. It's kind of like a massage for him. And you're really getting up all the extra dirt and dead hair and skin. You're lifting it up from his skin to the surface of his coat so that we can brush it off in the next step. So here's what we do. We don't take the curry comb on any bony areas like his face or his joints or legs or directly on his spine. We're gonna stick to the muscly areas. Really put your shoulder into it. Remember, you're making big circles and don't be afraid to lean in and really get it. You wanna get all over his rump and all the way down to about here. Don't go too far down the legs. Now that you've done the left side, front to back, we go to the right side and go front to back, staying just on the well-muscled areas. And now that you've dug up all the extra dirt and hair and sweat with the curry comb, you're going to take your stiff brush and you're going to brush all that away. Now remember, we this one you can use down his legs, but we still, we've got a brush for his face, so don't use this one on his face, we just use it on his body and his legs. But this one, remember, we go in the direction of the hair and you want to press and flick. Press and flick in the direction of the, of the hair. Now remember here, we've got this funny little traffic pattern of hair growth that you can't just scrape over it. Remember, Michelle doesn't like it when you just scrape over the hair in any direction and neither does the horse. So you wanna go in the direction that the hair goes, pay attention, pay attention to which direction the hair goes and brush that way. Remember, once you have completed the stiff brush on the left side from front to back, move over to his right side and do the same thing on his right side, front to back. Next up is the soft brush, and you can tell the difference in the stiff brush and the soft brush because the soft brush has soft bristles. This is the one that you can use on his face. So with this one, you're now you're kind of dusting him off and shining him up and making him pretty. Get whatever you've missed off of him this way. We're still going in the direction of the hair, still going left to right, front to back, except that now you can also use this on his face. So.
When you're brushing out manes and tails, it's pretty much the same thing as with human hair. You want to start down at the ends and work your way up. The safe position for brushing tails is off to the side. You can take his tail, pull it off to the side, hold it up, and brush it. Okay, we've made it through curry comb, stiff brush, soft brush, and mane and tail brush. Now it's time for picking those hooves. Don't panic. I made a separate hoof picking tutorial. If you need to watch that one too, I'm gonna link that one right up there. With this one, I'm just reminding you, here's how we do it. Here's the hoof pick, and I'll show you how it's done. And facing his rear, with your hip to his shoulder, run your hand down the back of his leg, and pick that hoof up, and then pick it out along either side of the frog. Same thing on the back, facing rear, stand with your hip close to his, run your hand down the back of his leg, and lift up. You might have to adjust the position of the back leg a little bit. Now that we've gone on the left side, front to back with the hooves, we go on the right side and pick out front and back. Thank you for watching our video today. Watch this video tutorial as many times as you need to before lesson two to refresh your memory. And even if you forget, I will remind you at your next lesson, so don't panic. Make sure and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already, and I will see you guys in the next video.